get ready because I just finished working out. Nope, gotta fold the laundry and then I'll get ready. So, I just posted our Etsy store online. Yay! Um, have you seen me since I've gotten ready? I think you have. Right? I don't know. This is my new favorite hairstyle to do. <laughs> I'm inspired by Elsa's braid from Frozen. Even though I've never seen that movie. But, I've got my tanning gear on. I'm going to go out and tan. And, um... I wanted to grab my lunch. Well, okay, I wanted to show you what I'm eating for lunch. So, because I always enjoy seeing other people, what they eat for lunch and stuff. So, me and Alex are supposed to have pre, <laughs> we're supposed to do pre-planned meals, but um, we have no time to cook them because it takes about two hours to cook and we just have been so lazy. But we're still trying to like, um, you know, eat in and all that. Alex was saying yesterday that it's like so embarrassing to have our generation be addicted to like energy drinks and stuff because it just shows you like as a generation <laughs> like how bad we're eating if we need energy drinks and stuff to survive, which is totally true. I mean, you don't even just survive, but you know so I'm gonna get my tanning products out Ooh, I need my sunglasses let's see if I can find them I don't think I'm gonna be able to oh no that's a clip <laughs> Organized like Jen has the most brilliant ideas ever. She has this basket um, that she like carries her stuff around in because when she goes from upstairs to downstairs, and that's like such a good idea. All my stuff's gonna fall. Okay. And how I make pasta healthy uh, is I try to make my ratio of veggies to pasta equal if not more veggies than pasta and then Alex always likes to add meat and then okay hold on So I'm going to put it in the fridge and come back for it. So this is what my meal looks like. Mmm. And I have water. It's my, what I wanted. We didn't have it. All right. I'm going to need to let you go because I can't carry all this stuff. So. so I just finished my lunch and I'm sitting outside. It's beautiful. Let me show you. Isn't that crazy? Um, I'm going to show you the products that I use, um, when I'm tanning outside for short amounts of time. If I'm going to be in the sun longer than, um, about 30 minutes to an hour, I'll put on, like, SPF 30 all over. But let me show you. So, my browning trick, how to get brown super fast, I think I showed this to you guys in yesterday's vlog, though is the Maui Babe Browning Lotion, all natural, fast, dark tan. Um, I've been using this stuff for about two to three years, and it really works. And I also like that it's all natural. And then, there's my empty lunch. Um, I put this on my tattoos. It's called Tattoo Guard. Um, and only the ones that are exposed, I put this on just because tattoos tend to fade if they're in the sun so i'm trying to decide if i should lay on this like my feet are already on fire this tanning 
sesh is not gonna be a long one. Laying on the hammock. <laughs> um, this reminded me that I feel like everybody should take time out of your day for yourself. It just like refreshes you. It's like just sit down and I mean, I know I have technology on right now because you guys are on, but take away the technology, put it down, close your computer and just relax. I try to be really mindful of like my technology intake because you guys saw our video. We're trying to kind of not start a revolution, but just make people live in the moment. There's kind of a movement been going on that I've noticed with some videos and stuff of people who are realizing that we're just way too, our lives revolve around the internet. Like we're not even living anymore. Um, but just like I give myself, I always give myself an hour a day to just sit and do absolutely nothing. And I, I have a job too, and it's hard to manage time. Like I'm trying to fix a trailer, I'm trying to fix property up right now, and I work, and it's hard, but um, it makes you a better person if you just take that hour for yourself every single day and just live it and just kind of go through your day in your head and kind of absorb everything that's happened and just gives you time to process and I find myself that way when I need to go to bed at night I'm not having that process moment so I can't go to sleep if that makes any sense so sorry to get all spiritual on you guys but that was just a little thought of mine Honestly, you can't get a proper tan without like a proper cheese lounge, you know? Um, so <laughs> I couldn't stay out there long because I was sitting in the hammock and like sweat was all up under me. But I want to show you the disgrace of my farmer's tan. Do you see that? That's bad. So I need to work on the tummy area. But, um, look at it. Like, there's even a line right there. It's crazy. To plug my phone in, because it's dying. And I cannot put a tight tank top back on, because I am sweaty. And just a little thing of information. Nobody in the Pacific Northwest has air conditioners. Finally back to painting and I'll tell you what I have to do now. So there's some touch-ups on these that I have to do and I need to paint in here one more time and around the door and that's that. And I'm going to watch YouTube and paint. So see you guys later. I painted the door frame. It makes the door look so dirty but they're going to get the door spray painted. Um, <laughs> And I have to do one more coat of that. I have to paint the inside of this one and um, do some touch-ups around the arch. And then I might come through this window because we were having trouble covering it. So yeah, but it's almost done. Alex is home, the kitty is cleaning the RV. Um, I need to move all the stuff back in here. Took all the tape off. Oh. It looks so good. I'm so proud of me, Lurk. All right. I'm gonna do that now. Here it is. In its full glory.
And there's gonna be like a green plant there.